Hi everyone, so this is the first bit of the second lesson, which is chain rule. Well, there's a fast way of doing chain rule, but I'm going to show you the kind of like the full way of doing it. In fact, you've used the chain rule when you've differentiated E and you've differentiated LN. You've done the chain rule in your head, the fast way of doing it. I'm going to show you the proper way. So it's not, it's also called function of a function because there's two functions. So the chain rule, so it's also called function of a function. There's a second function. Right, now then, at the most basic level, dy by dx is just a gradient. It's just a change going up over a change going across. Now you're happy saying that if you have like 3 over 10 times 10 over 2, that they cancel out and I've just got 3 over 2. Now that's the kind of easy idea or equivalent for why I can do this. So I've still got the dy, I've still got the dx, and it's like the du's have cancelled out, like with that what bit I've done there. Right then. So how do we do it? So generally it's the bit inside the bracket. The bit inside the bracket I say is U. So this bit here is U. So I've got U is 3x minus 2. The bit inside the bracket is the second function. And then if I replace the 3x minus 2 with U, I've also got Y is u to the 6. What I want to do then now is differentiate them both because I want a dy by du and a du by dx. So this is u on the left, so it's du, and it's x on the right, so it's dx, and that would be 3. So if you look, I've got my du by dx. And then for this one, I've got y on the left, so it's dy, I've got u on the right, so it's du. And that would be, oops, 6u to the 5 there. Now I can replace it back now or I can change it later. It's up to you. But I'm going to change the u back at some point. So I'm going to use dy by dx is dy by du times by du by dx. So dy by dx is 6u to the 5 times by 3. So dy by dx is 18u to the 5, and I'm just going to change the u back. So I'm going to change that u back to the 3x minus 2. So it's actually 18 lots of 3x minus 2 to the power 5. I can tell you a really fast way of doing it in your head, but you've got to see the proper way of doing it first. Now there's one here for you to do yourself. And you've got to do it yourself. You've got to say that u is equal to that, and y is equal to u to the 4, and then differentiate them both. Oh, it didn't work. Try again. Uh, ah, might as well do it. So I've got u. So see if you get the same. So du dx will be 10x plus 2e to the 2x dy du 4u cubed. So dy dx, which is dy du times du dx. So I've got 4u cubed times 10x plus 2e to the 2x. Change the u back to wherever it was in the brackets. It's a little bit messy. So I've got, oops, e to the 2x cubed. There. What's quite nice about that, it's in a position where you could do stationary points. It's got factors. Hopefully you got that and that will find there. So this is the fast way of doing it, which is um, differentiate inside the bracket, which is that bit. Um, bring the power down, take one off the power. 
So it says to do it quickly. So this is how I do it in my head. So what I do is I differentiate that. So that's going to be 4. Then bring the power down. So that's a 6. And then take 1 off the power. That's 5. So I differentiate inside the bracket, then I can differentiate the bracket. Uh, I might have a look inside the bracket. So I differentiate inside the bracket, and then I differentiate the bracket. So the 4 is to differentiate inside the bracket. That's my f dash to the x. And then I differentiate the bracket as my n times the function with 1 off the power. So if you have a go at this one, you should have 2 times 5 times the bracket to power 4. There you go. 2 times 5 times the bracket to power 4. There. That's the fast way of doing it. So I'll double check if there's only more of these ones. Oh yeah, there's shed loads of these. These are nice, so I really like these. I really like the French actually. Come on, yeah. There. Right then. So I'm going to put it in index notation. So I've got 2x squared plus 7 to the power of minus 4. And then, so let's follow it through then. Differentiate inside the bracket is a 4x. Bring down the power and then take 1 off the power there on the bracket. So dy by dx will be minus 16x over that other one to the power 5, or 2x squared plus 7 to the power minus 5. The one for you, if you have a go at this one, it's power a half. So I should differentiate inside the bracket is a 15x squared times by the power, which is a half followed by the bracket minus a half. So look, so differentiate the bracket, 15x squared, bring the power down, put the bracket with one off the power there, and then tidy it up. So I'll look at this one then, this next one. So they're all the same. Uh, I kind of set them out ever so slightly differently to make it easier, it's the same max. So differentiate inside the bracket is a 12x cube times by the power times by the bracket with one off the power. Now what you're actually doing, this bit of putting the power and then one off the power is you're differentiating the bracket part. So you differentiate inside the bracket and you differentiate the bracket type of thing. You have a function. So if I tidy that up, I've got 6x cubed There. there we go. So see if you can do this one then. So differentiate the bracket would be a 6x squared times by the power, 2 fifths, times by the bracket with 1 off it, which is power minus 3 fifths. That's minus 3 fifths there. But differentiate the bracket times by the power, bracket with 1 off the power. We're in that time now, can I quickly sneak this sign one in? So I'll see that sine x all cubed. So differentiate inside the bracket gives me cos x. Bring the power down, and then the bracket with one off the power. So it's three cos x. What's our man now? Sine squared x. There. Is that okay? Got 30 seconds after this one. So see that as cos x to the 4. Differentiate cos is minus sine. Bring it's not open it. Bring the 4 down to the front. Take one off the power. So there's my minus sine. There's my 4. There's my cos cubed. There. Right, that's that one definitely done. Well done, everyone.